Hey everyone, this is Lucky70x, welcome back to Let's Play Mario & Luigi Partners in Time. I almost said Mario & Luigi Partners in Time, but that would be a really weird screw-up. Anyway, the last episode we got dropped down these caves from above because we were on the stage and then they used the hammers and blah blah blah, you already know what I'm talking about. And Baby Mario tries to wake Luigi up with a hammer. Mario is still dead, that's okay. And Luigi's kind of pissed off because you know when you get when someone wakes you up by waking your head up a hammer, or he didn't have a hammer, kind of you know you kind of get angry at that. I don't know. I don't know if you've ever been hit, beaten with a hammer. Not a good thing. But Luigi makes both the babies cry by being angry at them, and then Mario gets angry at Luigi because he made the babies cry. Oh my god, awesome comedy. Actually, I do like this scene a lot though. So, oh my god, this is so annoying to listen to though. Jeez, stop the crying. Uh, but yeah, Luigi cries like a baby because apparently in all these years he has not grown up at all. Actually, pretty much even not even stats because our baby Luigi has been awesome and our Luigi sucked, but, uh, well, no, okay, Luigi is still better than baby Luigi. It would be really weird if you had a game where the babies were better. Although, I guess people do do a lot of these, uh, could, you know, do baby only runs. That would be kind of interesting. I don't know how that would go, though. I mean, the babies are pretty weak. You'd be damn good at dodging things, and the battles would take forever. I don't know. But anyway, we're here in the Gritzy Caves. This is the second half of the Gritzy Desert segment of the game. Uh, first thing you want to do is douse this fire with Baby Spit. The Baby Spit has returned. Uh, actually, we've seen quite a bit of the Baby Spit. Uh, well, not too much, but it, it, it does return now. So we haven't seen it in a few episodes, at least. Um, but in here is a secret shop run by Monty Moles. Because Monty Moles are awesome. I don't know why I saw it. Like, Monty Moles? Uh, but no. Uh, they have your basic stuff, nothing really new in the uh, item section here. If you want to restock on that, you can. Although, no reason to really be here anyway, because you can actually make it back to the uh, Pe Peach's Castle pretty easily from here, so... Not that big a deal. However, the clothes, there are some unique clothes here, however, they're absolute crap. Uh, as you can see, they have no defense, so while you're gaining 20 power, you're losing all you're losing your defense completely, which is totally useless. Same for the babies. Uh, the other one, they do increase HP and other stats, but once again... Compared to what you have, or the adult trousers or whatnot, uh, not worth it at all. Uh, in terms of the badges, you have two badges which uh, will get, increase your stats, but then you'll die afterwards, and you also have two stats that only activate when you're in critical health. And at that point, you want to be healing anyway, so once again, clothes and badges here, absolutely useless. Um, I guess maybe the only one that would be good is the di Dire Power Badge or the Dire Free Badge, but even then, you'll actually find one of these in here anyway, so... No big deal. If you're going to be using one of those badges, either use the Hit Power Badge or the one that uh, increases your power after using attack items. Personally, I prefer the Hit Power Badge, or the One Chance Badge for that matter. You know, once again, as you saw in the Gritty Desert, One Chance Badge, not bad at all. Anyway, there's a little segment in here, and I just dug out and landed on a bomb. Pretty entertaining. However, you do not want to be doing the bombs for reasons shown here. It almost one-shots Baby Mario if you screw up. So really, these kind of fights... You might not want him to do the fights. You might want to just, you know, get out of the way. Uh, we won't see too many of the bomb bombs here, though, luckily. There's much more annoying enemies this time. Bomb bombs are the least of our worries. Kind of funny, though, that bomb bombs have, been, uh, have gone from, you know, the enemies we fought the, the adult bros to now the enemies we fight the baby bros. They've just been downgraded. Oh, well. Uh, as you can see, there are new enemies here, so I'm going to go ahead and bring the babies over here, and I'm going to go ahead and go on a roll. Ha ha ha, funny pun. Uh, however, we're not going to make it all the way because that thing is sticking in. That's actually how we get to the uh, second part of Gritzy Caves from the early part. We have to go the long way around. But let's go ahead and fight these enemies. We'll see a lot of enemies here that are very reminiscent of enemies we fought in uh, Bowser's Castle way earlier in the game. These are Dark Boos. They act the exact same way if they're fighting where they'll just look in a direction. However, they do have one additional feature about them besides their higher power and health, and that is if they hit you, they will steal items. These items can range from mushrooms to bro items, just all sorts of different stuff. However, if they do steal your items, just go ahead and hit them, and you will you will actually regain uh, your lost items. So do not worry about that. Uh, they have really low HP. Actually, as you're going to see soon, if they hit Pow Badge, uh, you, get, you can actually get pretty close to one-shotting them. In fact, with a couple levels, we might... Er, with the next level, we might actually be able, uh, be able to one-shot them. So, uh, they do come in large groups, as you see four, some, I've seen fights where they even come in six uh, packs of six, but they do have low health, so they aren't horrible, and they are pretty easy to dodge. Um, I, they're not too much of a threat in the end. Uh, these other enemies, they have a lot of health, but they also are pretty e easy to dodge. Well, one of their attacks can be a little tricky, but they are called Sniffaros, they're like little uh, Sniffit, sla Sniffit Sarcophaguses, I don't know, kind of weird. Kind of a weird enemy choice, and they're going for the Egyptian theme here. As you can see, one of their attacks is they will spit bullets at you from inside their little sarcophagus thingies, which is cool. They also have another attack. I forget if I showed off in this episode or not, um, but I, I do show off eventually. 
I, I like this second attack a lot better. It's a lot easier to dodge too, but for now he's just shooting bullets at us. Uh, sometimes, as I'll show later as well, the bullets actually do reverse. So we'll go up the top one first and then the bottom one, so do be careful. Do watch what's going on uh, so you don't get hit by it. But otherwise, they're not that bad enemies. They do take about a round or two of both rows attacking them to finish off. Uh, also, all these enemies are floating enemies, so do be careful because uh, when they're floating, obviously, uh, Ground items like green shells and hammers and the bro flowers when you're not using the babies won't work, so always be careful of that. Uh, so yeah, ground and, uh, ground attacks don't work. Well, then again, the jump does do more damage than the hammer, so I almost always use the jump over the hammer anyway unless you have a spiked enemy, and those are very rare in this game. You usually don't counter spiked enemies unless you're with the babies alone, actually. Yeah, now that I think about it, small, well, okay, spiked slash I mean, I guess there are a few of them, but not right now. Uh, anyway, if you head out here, this is actually the part of Gritzy Desert that we saw last time that we can't go anywhere, so that's where this pipe leads to. Easy access into Gritzy Caves whenever you want, and also an easy way to get to get back to Peach's Castle. Uh, so, there we go. Easy way to get back to Gritzy Desert. However, we unfortunately need to keep going to the caves, because our goal here is to rescue Princess Peach, and she's in some piranha's belly sometime. And you know, as you saw if you, but apparently being eaten doesn't kill her, so see, there's a chance she's still alive. Why are we rescuing you in Princess Peach again? Jeez, she cheats at Mario Party, she's annoying. Why do we do that? Anyway, it's just coins in there. I could bother. Uh, as you can see, the dark boos do move in a uh, in a certain like area. They have like a little area they can patrol. Otherwise, they can't actually leave that area. So it is actually pretty easy to avoid them at most parts. Although, if you have to go through the little area that they're guarding, they are they, they do get pretty tricky. And unfortunately, I didn't jump up the Ouija and I kind of screwed that up. Oh well. But I will take this opportunity to show, as I said before, once you get a level, to this level, you should actually be able to one-shot these with the two of the hip how badge included. Because they have 45 HP, and I actually do exactly enough to do that. Uh, and I also showed um, another example of an IV being stolen that can steal mushroom drops. Aw oh, man, that's my mushroom drop, man. Don't be touching my stuff. I'll kick your ass. Anyway, that was that was weird. I do like the uh, little... Uh, a, it does use the cool uh, underground thing that we saw in the castle sewers before. I just like the layout of this place. There's little glow light beams and everything. And these little caves that have cool items in them. Well, okay, it's just coins. No one cares about coins. Or, or green peppers. Or red peppers. I, I don't remember if I explained what the peppers do, but they increase your stats temporarily. Red peppers increase your power temporarily. Uh, green pe peppers increase your defense temporarily. And there is no way in hell I'm doing this fight. Run away! Ow. So yeah, as you can see, now that I've uh, got my rid of my wall badge, I will take lose more coins by running away. But honestly, you don't want to be doing these fights with the babies. You take a hit. I mean, Baby Mario is especially weak these days. Like, my Baby Mario is especially weak in HP, as you can see. Although Baby Luigi's freaking blessed, so he can actually take two or three hits. But Baby Mario will go down really fast, and then you're in trouble. So, plus at this point, the baby's power lack of power is pretty apparent because they can't really. They take a while to do damage, even when using bro attacks. They take a while, so. At this stage, unless you know it's a baby's only place, you might just want to fight the adult bros. Anyway, someone said yoinks. See, like I said, Scooby Doo. Scooby freaking do. She even says, okay, it's jinkies, but yoink. Yeah, you know, we're going to make uh, Kylie Koopa. We're going to make her freaking. Uh, she, she can be Velma, because jinkies is close enough to yoinks. Unless does Daphne say that? I don't know. Who cares about Scooby Doo? Why am I not such a Scooby Doo obsession these days? But anyway, Kylie Koopa's in trouble. That guy is swinging a miss. Swinging a miss, and. I don't know why he's like swinging the axe when he's obviously nowhere near the rope, but unfortunately, Kelly Koopa just got eaten. Why didn't the Mario Brothers just like fight Petey Piranha? Or for that matter, why didn't Petey Piranha fight the Mario Brothers? Doesn't he have like some vendetta against Mario? Well, then again, well, here's an actually an interesting idea. So Mario fights him in the present in Sunshine and a bunch of other games for that matter. Um, and, but however, we're in the past right now. So Mario was like, you know, an infant back then. So this is probably like, what, 20, 30 years difference here? So Petey is freaking old as hell for a plan. That's what I'm gonna say. Unless this is like Petey Piranha Senior and like his kid is the one who plays like in baseball and fights Mario and Sunshine and whatnot. I don't know. Start your speculations about Petey Piranha now. And now suddenly I'll get ten comments about how Petey Piranha is blah 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 Petey Piranha blah 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 Petey Piranha. Actually, it's probably gonna be the exact comments I get now. I don't know. Who knows what I get? I do love reading the comments though. You guys are always fun to. It's always fun when you guys leave comments on my videos. Always entertaining to watch. Do appreciate them. But anyway, group of five boos. Who cares? Gonna cut through that. And we're gonna get one of mushrooms. Um, the enemies here will drop trampolines as well. So, and as you can see, we've been getting trampolines. So this is where you start getting your stock of trampolines, which is good. Trampolines are very good. In fact, trampolines are probably uh, the most useful item to use for the upcoming for an upcoming boss, which is actually gonna be quite a while before we fight him. But 
Um, so you do want to stockpile those if you can. Uh, those freaking- I love how the, the enemies do not attack you if you're not in control of those bros, which is there for obvious reasons, but it's kind of funny. And I'm just gonna lure this guy away here, because he's right next to Mario and Luigi, and I do not want to fight this guy. He's just freaking spinning around in circles, spin, 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 and even then he just didn't even try. Stupid Sniffaros. Kids are weird. Uh, but yeah, I, I do like the, uh... Yeah, he's just spinning- Jeez, I'm just gonna get dizzy in that sarcophagus, stupid Sniffets. Why are you in a sarcophagus to begin with? Isn't that like... There's something disturbing about that, but whatever. I guess it's not. What is. What does the caves have anything to do? Okay, I guess we're in the caves in a desert, so sarcophagus makes sense. I don't know. Uh, so we have all these good little coin things. Again, nothing too special. I do like how the light is on Luigi, though. Luigi and Lu Baby Luigi are the stars of this show right now. Okay, let's, let's be serious here. Luigi is pretty much the star of this show because his comedy is like what makes this game half as good as it is. So, okay, that's not quite true. Um, how are we gonna get? We're gonna get 31, 32. Is that a new record, 32? I think that may, might be the highest one I've gotten on this LP. I don't know, I haven't really kept track of it. As you can see, I have a ton of money anyway. I have like over 3,000 points at the moment, so... Money is not the biggest issue, really, so... I mean, at this point, money never really is. And most of the good stuff, in the end, you don't even buy, so... Well, you don't buy using coins, at least. Uh, anyway, and here's another Monty Mole. They're freaking everywhere right now. It's a freaking Monty Mole infestation. However, in order to continue onward, we're gonna need to play a little game using this little, uh... I don't... What do you call it? A little gear thing? I don't know. Uh, so you have to score the targets with baby spit. And if you hit the targets, stuff in half. Okay, so what you have to do is... Uh, targets will go down below. There'll be a target on the bottom screen, a target on the top screen, and you're gonna have to, uh... Well, wake the spit this thing first to make it happen. And if the two targets match, you squirt water on it. So, uh, well, that would be one where I want to take, but I was actually trying to remember what to do here. Uh, so two coins... Okay, that's also be one you take. Come on, just hit a target. Uh, okay, that one you don't, because coins and mushrooms are, 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 you know, they aren't matching. These ones you do, so, boom. And then it'll head down here, and... As you can see, they match up, so it's good. So you have to get three of these in a row, and you are good to go for this game. So two coins, get that one. As you can see, the reverse directions now to sort of try to throw you off. Uh, the third one's the trick, yes, is you can, uh, and this one, the one on the bottom is gonna go really fast. So pay attention to the bottom, and then look at the top one. So nope, and nope. Oh, come on, just give me a little one that matches. There we go. Two mushrooms. A little mushroom's gonna come out of the side over here, and we're good to go. Easy mini game. I don't know. I guess the game tries to do little different things to make things interesting, I suppose. You know, little different mini games. But in the end, I guess one of the things Bar uh, Bowser's Inside Story and even Superstar Saga, for that matter, just does a lot better than Partners in Time is the mini games that you have to do because the mini games in this game, uh, they're not really that fun to be honest, and they're a lot simpler than you know mini games. That I miss Barrel. I miss Barrel from Superstar Saga. Barrel is freaking awesome. But actually, with that, we're getting pretty close to the end of the, of the episode. Uh, kind of a short episode, a few episodes. Uh, we're just going to get through the caves. So the next episode... Well, okay, we still have a few seconds, but... We're going to go down here to the next floor. Things are going to be good. There's no save point. We're going to save up, and the next episode, we're going to continue on these crazy passages and gritty caves. So this is Lucky7DX signing out. Will we be able to rescue the princess from P.D. Piranha? Or P.D. Piranha Sr., or whatever we want to call him? Who knows? Find out next time. What about Kylie? Well, who cares about Kylie? Goodbye.